Are you guys ready to go Emeril Lagasse on this video? We're gonna kick it up today. Bam! And I have a stitch fix to share with you guys. Hi everyone, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I do all kinds of unboxing videos, reviews, and shopping hauls all relating to fashion, beauty, and wellness. So if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing below so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. So today we are kicking it up a notch and we are gonna have some fun. We always have fun in my videos, right? But today, we're just gonna take it to the next level because I enjoy entertaining you guys. It's about the clothes, but for me, it's also about putting a smile on someone's face or making someone laugh. If you guys are ready to have some fun, stick around. We're gonna get right to the try-on. We have a special guest today. Bentley is going runway. Yes, you heard that right. <laughs> We're gonna have some fun with Bentley today. And when I'm doing my try-ons, he has some items that he's gotten that he'd like to try on for your opinions as well. And if you'd like to have some Stitch Fix fun of your own, I will put all the information that you need to know about Stitch Fix in the description box below. And that way you can check out that info for yourself and decide if it's something that you might wanna try. And I just got emailed a brand new link from Stitch Fix for $50 off your very first box. So you will get a $50 credit to spend on that box that they send you. That's a great deal, it's normally 25, so you get double the amount to spend on the clothes. So if you wanna give that a try, I, checked, I tried the link from the email and it wasn't working to be able to just copy the link. So what I'm thinking is just, my email is in the description box, just email me. I will email that link to you because that works that way. I just signed my mom up and she was able to get the $50 credit. So I know it works that way. So my email is below, just email me, let me know and I will forward that to you. So you know what, let's get to the fun and I'll meet you in the try-ons. Here we go with the first Stitch Fix item. So it is this really cute jumper. Never owned a jumper before. So this should be interesting. The length on it, it kind of comes up a little bit shorter and I know it's supposed to do that and I'm pairing it with a pair of little wedges. Um, this outfit to me was a little hard to find a shoe that I really felt looked good with it. So these would be the only ones that I have that come close for me. And I'm still not sure they're the right ones. I don't know. So anyways, here is the jumper. I put on a jean jacket over it because I thought let's add a little something to it and see how that looks first. Okay, now let's take the jacket off and see how we like the jumper on its own. Okay, so we've got a wrap top, uh, sleeveless of course, and there are no snaps here, but it feels pretty secure. It doesn't really feel like it's gonna flop around too much. And it has a belt that comes around here. You can either, I tied it off to the side in a little bow. You could tie it on the side, you could put it in the front, would look cute. And I'll give you a close-up look at the pattern, black and white, and really pretty flowers. A little bit better view of the top. The under the sleeves is a is not too low, so that's great. And here is the complete turnaround look here. It's really cute, actually. Um, the only thing that I would say is there is no nothing to control this little overflowing adventure going on here so i feel like a pair of Spanx or something like that would hold everything in nicely from the side view i don't have them on right now i should have put them on and i'm sucking it in i'll be honest i am sucking it in right now so uh, when you're like oh you don't need those bangs oh yeah i do so anyway here's the first item it is super cute the material is really kind of silky feeling it's very smooth i don't know what kind of material it is it's not cotton it's not polyester now watch i read the tag and it's polyester 
but it feels really good. Um, it's, it's not too heavy. So this is a great first item. All right, now let's see what Bentley got. Okay, so here we have Bentley in his first item. It is this lovely leopard print scarf. Gives him quite a bit of coverage and it's nice and warm. So on those cold chilly days, it will keep him a little bit warmer. And um, he's feeling pretty confident in it, I think, right now. Bentley, what do you think of this scarf? Hmm, I'm not sure that scarf worked out for Bentley. He's now got static hair. Here is the next Stitch Fix top. I paired it with a pair of white jeans and another jean jacket. It's a lighter wash. Can you tell I like jean jackets? So here's kind of the full look, how it would look as an outfit. Now let's take a look at the top because it's super cute. Let's take a look at the top without the jean jacket. Okay, it is such a pretty blue. It is this royal blue color. It's a little bit flowy here, which is real nice. And I think it's about the same front and back as far as the hemline. It doesn't come too low under the arms. And let me give you a closer look of the material and the pattern. Really pretty flowers on there too. It's super soft. And I love the straps, how it's got crisscross straps up here by the neckline. That's really cute. And then the back, let me show you the back. So it's got the crisscrossing in the back too. And I really think this is just a nice color. It would be perfect for summer and or perfect to take on the cruise. So this is a, this is a contender for sure. What do you guys think? All right, let's see what's next for Bentley. All right, here is Bentley's second item. It is this lighter colored animal print top here. It's a very lovely color on him. And he's just wondering what your opinion is. Do you like the first scarf on him or this lighter colored? What do you think, Bentley? Do you like that? <laughs> do you like that scarf? <laughs> I think he's getting annoyed at me right now. <laughs> Alrighty, here we have the next Stitch Fix top. Doesn't this scream Stitch Fix, this pattern? For sure. I would see this on somebody in the mall and be like, is that a Stitch Fix top? Um, so I paired it again with the lighter jean jacket and the white jeans. And I think that's really a cute look. The jacket being the lighter color goes nicely with the top. So now let's take a look at the shirt on its own. Okay, so love the coloring in this top. It does feel, it feels like that jumper. It's like a um, kind of a silkier feeling material. And let's give you a closer up view of the neckline here and the pattern. And then it's got this different pattern on the bottom here. It does have little slits on both sides. And then the back, you know how I say the details in the back, right? Okay, so let's turn around so you guys can see that. So cute woven kind of crisscross detail in the back. The only thing would be is you need one of those little bra clips to kind of hold the straps in more because of how it tapers off to the side or like in, in the back. So you definitely would need that for your straps to kind of come closer together in the back so they wouldn't show. And so yeah, really cute, fits really nicely. Great summer top. What do you guys think of this one? All right, now Bentley's got a top this time. Let's see how that goes. So for Bentley's next item, he is sporting his little U of M hoodie. And he, <laughs> I'm not really sure he's liking the hood. I don't know if he's a hood dog. Let's try it without the hood. So now he's got his little hoodie on without the hood. And like my top, the detail is in the back. So let's take a look at the back of Bentley's hoodie. So here we go. We've got the large M on it for representing U of M, University of Michigan. And this has a onesie pocket here. If he wanted to, he could carry around treats maybe in the back here when he gets 
hungry throughout the day, he's got something to nibble on. This sweatshirt has a nice little bottom hem to it. And uh, yeah, I think overall he really likes this one. What do you think of that one, Bentley? Do you like that top? All right, here's my last two pieces. It is this really pretty white tank top and the shorts. So let's start out with the tank top first. It has this really pretty lace detail going in the front. Really pretty all the way down the front of the tank top. And then it's just regular material the rest of the way from here back. And it's really pretty, it's very comfortable, it's nice and soft, rounded neck. Bentley can't wait till it's his turn again, I hear him. And good length, so really nice. Now for me, the only reason why I wouldn't keep this top is because I have two white tank tops pretty darn close to what this is. One is a V-neck and it's got lace detail in the front, and another one is, I think it's a V-neck too with kind of a wrap. So. They're pretty close, and so while this is really pretty, I don't think I would need to add a third white tank top to my closet. But if you are looking for one, I love the detail on this, it's really cute. And of course, it would look great under a jean jacket. And now the shorts. So the shorts are, they're slip-on, they don't have any kind of zipper or anything in the front, and they are maybe a little bit shorter than I might like, but they're not bad. And they do not have pockets on the side at all. And they do have one little seam here that looks like a faux pocket, but you can't put anything in there. So, and not on the other side. I feel like they fit really well. Uh, that's all good. Like I said, maybe just a little shorter on, or a little longer on the length for me would be even better. And let me give you a let me give you a close up of this pattern. Okay, so here is the pattern of these shorts. It's got black and royal blue, little lilac, green, purple, lots of colors going on in here. Um, and I do like the colors. I just don't know that I'm real wild about the pattern. These shorts are very comfortable, and definitely I would consider them if it was a different, little bit more toned down pattern for me. Okay, so are you guys ready to see Bentley's last item? He decided to go a little bit more wild for his try-on as well, since this was a little bit more wild. So let's see what he has. So here is Bentley's last outfit. He went really wild and colorful this time. He has got a little fish hat on and with the little fins coming out the side. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I bought this at Halloween time and never put it on him, but it is so stinking cute. Okay, and then the rest of Bentley's de uh, outfit is the details in the back, so let's take a look at that. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of Bentley's costumes that he was fortunate enough for his owners to buy him, and he just loves wearing all this get up. Hey, Bentley, what do you think about your outfit? Oh, you look so cute. Okay, so you guys weigh in on what, what your favorite was for Bentley and let him know so that he knows, you know, what to reach in his closet for. So what did you guys think of that fancy try-on? I hope you guys enjoyed Bentley's little portion of the try-on as well. He is such a great dog. Oh, and he got treats. He got extra treats for doing such a great job today. So he enjoyed that. Let me know, I have got two items that I am really considering. So I would love to hear what you guys think. The first one is this really pretty tank top. I love the softness of it, the color, the floral pattern, the strappiness of it in the back and the, and the top. So this is a really good contender. And then the other item that I'm really considering is this jumpsuit. I thought that was a really pretty pattern as well. The only thing that's throwing me off a tiny bit is the length. I know that's probably in, that kind of length is in right now. I just don't know if it looked, if I liked the look on me or not. And also the shoes. I don't feel like I have a 
wow pair of shoes to go with this. So I would have to then search for another pair of shoes that I would that would look really good to wear with this. So what are your thoughts on this? All right, you guys. Well, that's it for my Stitch Fix video today. It's not all for what's coming up. I have got an Amazon haul, another one coming, that I'm super excited to share with you guys too. I am having so much fun shopping on Amazon, I'm telling you. And I'm finding some cute things and hopefully sharing them with you. Maybe you guys are seeing something that is really great for you too and you're, it makes it easy for you to go and order it because it's already found. The link is in my description box usually, so it's super simple. Um, and you don't have to go rummaging through a ton of, of clothing items to find it. So I have got shoes coming in there. I have four pair of shoes, I think, coming in that. I do have another hat. Oh, let's see what this looks like. And I have a couple, a few other surprises in that too. So look for that coming out um, probably Monday. And then, I'm, then I will be set to do the packing video. I know I promised you guys that a video or two ago, but I got to the point where I had everything laid out, ready to go, and I just felt like, oh, you know, I wanna make sure that I got the stitch. Um, I wanted to try to wait until after that, wait until after this next Amazon, and then I feel ready. And there was also one other item I was looking for in the store to see if it would be helpful to use for packing. I don't normally use it, but I've seen other people and I thought, let's let's grab it and we'll give it a whirl in that video as well. So that is still coming and I'm hoping that will air on Wednesday or Thursday of next week. So stick around, there is lots to come. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And if you guys have any thoughts for Bentley today on his items, please feel free to share that as well. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.